Hello, I'm back once again. Did, did, did she just go to sleep on her hammer? Anyway, wait, is the hammer a mix? Does the hammer have all her previous hammers inside of it? That's really cool. At least I see the original one in there. I'm getting off track. Hi, I'm back. Um, today we're gonna fight Larry. Yeah, we're gonna fight Larry. What is that thing? I, I need to stop getting sidetracked. I did fight things. I did catch things. So, I'm gonna fight Larry. Then we're immediately gonna go down here. And then down here. I wanna see if we can knock out all three of these things. That's why I'm being quick with this. Let's go! Larry, knock, knock! Reckoning is coming. Hopefully this is... I, I, I swear, I've been scarred by that Grusha event. Hey, Jelly! Oh, God. N Hello, Nomona. Am I gonna fight you this time? Gladly. Saw you going to the gym and I came running. Listen, I'm really sorry I couldn't battle you last time we ran into each other. Wait, don't get me wrong. I didn't chase you down just to battle you. And again, I guess I wouldn't mind a battle or anything if you wanted to. What do you say? I, I, sure. I literally just said that. Yes, battle time. You and me, Jelly. Wait, hold on. I'm not sure... I want to be sure to pick the right Pokemon while you're in, where you're in for your journey. Sorry, give me a sec to find to my team, then we can battle. In fact, while you're waiting, go ahead and take on the gym. I mean, sure. Let me fight the businessman. Hold on, let me. Oh yeah, you might notice this is not copper from before. This is steel. Um, I noticed something. Copper had this interesting move. Um, called Rage Fist, <clears throat> and I wanted to try it out, but, uh, unfortunately, Copper was level 50 and wouldn't listen to me, so I caught another one, this is Steel, uh, he listens to me, alright, we're good. Uh, I want to keep using that move, but I really can't in this gym. You know what, I'll give Underdeveloped some time to shine, he hasn't been able to do anything in a while. Welcome to the Medali Gym. Let me register as a challenger. Your name is Jelly, yes? Great. Now, in order to face the gym leader, Larry, you'll first need to pass the gym test. In the Medali Gym, that means ordering a special secret menu item. Specifically, a menu from the Treasure Eatery, a much-loved restaurant here in Medali. Order correctly and you pass. Right now, there are three other challengers around town attempting the gym test. Each Chandra has been given a different clue that will help them discover a secret dish. You'll be given a clue as well. Please find and battle the other challengers. The loser must tell the winner their clue. Your goal is to gather clues and use them to determine the secret dish in order. For the waiter, then order it from the waiter at the treasure eatery. Only the challenger who is able to order correctly will pass the test. Clue is to find the regular season. Your clue is to find out how the regular season their dishes. Okay. I suggest you start by hearing what a regular at the treasure eatery has to say. How do I find one of those? How do I find where a regular is? And gym test, start. I guess, oh I guess over there. We. <clears throat> Medali's most famous restaurant, the Treasure Eatery, is right here. We also have the secret dish for those of you currently taking on the gym test. Alright, so that's where it is. I gotta go find the other people around. Just showing me where it is. You have to be one. My squawk really can talk. Squawk ability. Squawk ability. Where are the people that I want to fight? Oh, it's you. I'm going to punch you in the face. Dunsparce? You don't have a Dunsparce? Well, underdevelop, you know what to do. Prep that loaded dice. It's been so long since I've gone to use this stupid Super Saiyan mouse. There we go. Nice job, buddy.
Um. Same model doing the same animation at the same time. Let's go. I, I do believe I have to tell you my clues since I lost. So, what the regular season with is mine. The blue bird Pokemon. Alright. Uh, same model doing the same animation. Ah, uh, there's another one. This is freaky. This is what this is what doppelgangers are. What the heck? This is freaky. I don't like this. Oh, there's another child to hit. You have a clue about the secret dish? Guess I better beat you and learn it. <clears throat> No. Simple, really. All you need to do is die. Tell me your clue, child. Dark spot surrounded by the stairs. Dark spot. So let's see. What regular season with blue bird and dark spot around the stairs. An even younger child to fight. Excuse me, you're taking the gym test, right? Tell me a clue about the secret dish. Come on, tell me, tell me, tell me. No! It's super effective. <laughs> Greet it. I'm gonna beat it up. Future Kevin, do the thing again. Oh, come on, it's not gonna kill this time. I forgot, this thing is chunky. Oh! oh! No, 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 we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Thunderfang, if you would, please, sir. The opposing Greedon's fainted! How bad for it! Tell me your clue, child. Wish we could just trade clues with we trade Pokemon. The odd one out of the ice cream stands. Look for something that's the odd one out of the ice cream stands. Alright. So what was it? What? Finding coins? Oh my god, give me gold coins. Oh my god, leftovers! Wait, this is big. Um. Oh, I've been waiting for this. Oh boy. Come on, give. Yes. Yes! Dumper is unkillable now. Alright, so it was a blue bird. I know where the blue bird is. A dark spot. What regulars season with. And... A dark spot. And the, os and the odd one out of ice cream stands. Well, that's helpful. Um. What? Wh huh? Was the Gengar just out shopping? What? In a big gate at the top of the path leading to the great pa crater Paldea. Wait, is that up here on the map? There's an entrance? Alright, is that it? Oh, that's it from here. 
This puzzle is kind of confusing. Something that's the odd one out of the ice cream stands. Let's start with that. Let me look for the ice cream stands. And then there's the blue bird here. There's blue bird man. Was that you who said something about the blue bird? Or are you the dark spot? Our dark spot surrounded by stairs. Oh. Surrounded by stairs. It's right here. Something fa fire blast. That doesn't seem healthy. Listen really closely to the blue bird Pokemon. And then the odd one out among something that's the odd one out among the ice cream stands. I gotta find all the ice cream stands first. So far, I've only found one ice cream stand. That's, uh, coffee. Where are the ice cream stands? That's a sandwich over there. That's coffee. That's oh, some mayo. Some more coffee! The only ice cream stands I can find is this one. I've only found one stand. JoJo would be unimpressed. Alright, I finally found another one. Is it the difference between them? Is it the crepes? Oh! It's rice balls. Fire blast, talkability, rice balls. Maybe, maybe I should listen to the squawkability a little longer. Talkability, talk, no, medium. And that's what it was. Alright. Then you have the three things. Oh, I didn't look for this uh, season thing. Dang it. Oh, regular seasons? So we got Fire Blast, Medium, Rice Balls. How they how regular seasons? I have to talk to like everyone to find that out. I don't have a battle court. I wonder where you battle the gym leader. Oh, you're right. It doesn't have a battle court. Maybe it's in there. Hmm. I can't find it anywhere. Larry! Nice piece of lemon. It's- that's literally Larry, isn't it? Alright, I got it locked and loaded. Alright, grilled rice balls. Medium. Fire Blast. Lemon. <clears throat> the battle court is the freaking uh, food place? Wow. All right, that test was fun. I like that. Larry. Larry. Exceptional every man himself. Gym leader Larry. 
Larry, you're up! It is him. Hello. I'm Larry. I'm assigned to work at the gym later here at Madali Gym. Great job making your way to the gym test. And well, maybe other dishes on the menu sometime. Everything's good here. Anyway, my boss will dock my pay if I spend too much time chit-chatting. Let's get this battle over with. Wow. What happened to all the people who were eating here? Thank you for doing business with us today. I, Larry, will be at your service. Let's do this, Larry! Gym Leader Larry! <laughs> Threw it and just sit back in idle stance. Komala. Toxic Spikes. Why is... Why is he only level 35? Hmm. He is only level 35. Have I gotten past all the powerful gems? Are the arts just gonna get weaker from here? I. Oh, that's right, the leftovers. Dumper's unstoppable now. Oh, wait, he's asleep! At least this time I don't have to be attacking for me to heal. Da dun sparse. Alright, well, you know what that means. Underdeveloped. You finally get more time to shine. Hit him once. Please hit all five times. I think that's the only way I kill this thing. Come on, once more. Yeah! Larry! Try harder, buddy! Skitter smack? The heck is a skitter smack? Oh, wait, skitter smack. Uh. Nah. I am, although, going to switch Staraptor. Although, I will switch into Bonk. For that little dosage of extra money. Let's just see how much a Gigaton Hammer will do. You're pretty good. I might end up losing this. Come on, Larry, step it up a notch! You got a hungry customer's waiting, give him something to cheer for you here! Why is there UI still on screen? Why is the UI still on screen? Show us what you got, Larry! And you too, kiddo! Without the dough? Well, you heard the good folks. I suppose I can put a bit more of a, on a bit more of a show. Terrastalization. Oh boy, you lost your flying typing, mister. Why am- why is- Bonk, why are you inside the ground? I think it's time to show you what real- that real life isn't just being true to yourself. Facade? Okay, Bonk, why are you in the ground? Come on! Could have ended it there! Stop sinking in the ground! Oh, come on! Use like takedown or something. What has 100% accuracy? Brutal swing. The brutality of it all. The Staraptor falling from the sky. Just be glad you're not a Corviknight. 
Those things get hunted down by this thing more than anything. And you defeated Gym Leader Larry. Bonk is still in the floor. He certainly threw me for a loop. You're rather strong, aren't you? Enough to bring out my poker face, even. I lost, so that means I have to give you a badge, but... What? The battle made me a bit hungry. Care to join me for a meal? That's a lot of rice bowls. Having five gym badges in hand makes it easier to catch Pokemon up to level 45. Oh, and they'll actually listen to you, too. This is for you, though hopefully a child like you has no need to put it to put on his namesake. Facade? <sighs> the dish is here. They've all got flavor. Good flavor, I mean. Don't worry about the bill. I do earn a salary, after all. Now, you better go back... Now, I'd better go back to work if you'll excuse me. Oh! Hello, Gita. Another gym leader defeated? Well done! Rika informed me that there was an unusual trainer we're keeping eyes on. Seems she met you. I guessed as much. I had the pleasure of observing your last match. I was impressed by your, the fantastic skill you showed. If you managed to keep your momentum and achieve champion rank, I will be interested in inviting you to the Pokemon League and... Hey, hey, Jelly! I got my team all picked out! <sighs> I saw you battling the gym leader. You keep getting better. Good to see you again, Champion Demona. It certainly has been a while. W w wait! La Primera? With Jelly? Yeah, why do you call her that? Wait, did I forget to give you the full explanation? Everyone calls Miss Gita La Primera because she's just all that. She's the real number one, even higher than us regular champions. She's the top champion. Yeah, she's the champion champion. I do indeed hold that claim, alongside my role as chairwoman of the Pokemon League, that is. I thought you were too busy to spend your time checking in on gyms. I'm not here to inspect the gym. I've come to scout some rather promising young talent. Whoa! I look away for one second and you're famous, Jelly? But hey, I found Jelly first. You may be La Premiere, but you can't go stealing him from me. <laughs> I suppose I'll have to get in line. That's right. Come on, Jelly. Time for our battle. Quick, let's go. The battlefield's calling. One moment, please. Huh? What is it? I would very much like to observe this match, if that is all right. Oh, <laughs> totally fine by me. Sounds fun, right, Jelly? Yep, I've been waiting to fight. Thank you kindly. I'm already excited to see you two face off. Let's be on our way then. You remember how it all works, right? Once you get b badges from all the gyms, you get a throw down against the strongest Pokemon trainers around. Yes, you must face the Pokemon League. It is located to the northwest of Mesagoza. Pokemon League is where trainers are reborn as champions, in the greatest honor that they might dream of. Collecting eight gym badges sets you up for the take to take the champion assessment. If you can face the challenge of the final examiner and win, you become a champion. Just imagine how that moment would feel. Try getting into that champion mindset. Now set your sights on reaching that big, important stage, and let's battle! Excuse me one moment. <sighs> I believe Jelly's Pokemon may still be a little fatigued. Oh, thanks. Sorry, I got caught up in my battle hunger. Well, you should be in good shape now, thanks to La Primera. Okay, Jelly, time to put our game faces back on. Let's have us another fruitful battle. Gladly. Let's go, Nimona! I know a lot of people are watching, but no need to get worked up. Just stay cool. Another healthy dosing of toxic spikes. Come on! Don't flinch me again. There we go. And a stomping tantrum, please. 
Don't flinch. Come on! Thank you. Alright. Gumi? Gumi. Hmm. Well, the only way to deal with a Gumi is to slap it with a big metal hammer. Alright. Gumi? Uh. God. Jeez, Mimona. Get better at battling. I say I should probably have the champion level team. Pomo? Only a Pomo? Not even a Pomot? You dare disgrace me this way, Nimona? Nimona, please educate me on why you are so weak. Your Pokemon are in the 30s. Did that even do any damage? <coughs> Meow Scara? I'm correct, I'm assuming this is an evol is an evolved Florago. Oh <laughs> wow, you seen this, Premira? I'm getting back into a corner. Final starter versus final starter. Whoa! That looks cool. That looks cool. Time to terrestrialize. Watch, I'm gonna make La Premier's eyes light up. Ah, such a shame, Nimona. You go through all this work. And you're probably not even gonna be able to get an attack off. I'd love to see your signature move, but um... Unfortunately, I have the power of Mix on my side. Alright, I'm pulling all the stuff. Get ready. I want to see you stand up to this. No. Oh, wait. She actually did move first. Flower trick. That was a grenade. Anyway, Mix. Killer. Epic job, Mix. I'd like to reiterate I have still not terrestrialized once. Not a single time. People are gonna start paying more and more attention to you, I just know it. Jeez, 8880. Nice clapping sound effects. An amazing display of talent, even against a skilled someone as skilled as champion Nimona. What that was a splendid match. I enjoyed watching it very much. Now, even La Primera thinks you're one to watch. You got so much potential. The way you're going, I better watch my back. You know, since the first time we've met, I've been weirdly sure of one thing. You're going to become a champion, no doubt about it, Jelly. The rest of these gems, you can take them 100% no problem. I agree. In fact, you should take this. Consider an investment in your future. Terra Blast. If a Pokemon uses the move when terrestrialized, the Pokemon's type will change to the Terra type of the Pokemon. One day, Jelly and me are gonna have the greatest battle of all. I know it. I'm gonna train up even more than I already have been. Cool. She shows you such support and friendship. Or perhaps, perhaps she hopes you truly might rival her? No. I think it's no mere hope. She seems to have a complete faith that you will catch up to her. At any rate, allow me to return to the gym where I found you. All right, whatever. All right, Larry, that was pretty quick, actually. Next up, over here. Cascarafa. Let's do this. Onward we go! Oh, I guess I missed a trainer. Oh, no, I'll fight them really quick. Want another cutest Pokemon of all? Because I'm going to tell you. A lot of the trainers around here have been talking about how their Pokemon are the cutest. And I don't really care. Die! Oh yeah, also Dumper tried learning Earthquake. Um, I'm going to stick with Stomp and Cantum for now. Just in case I have to deal with another double battle. I And I need to use a ground move. I mean, to illustrate for you the many qualities that make Palmo such a cute... Wait, I lost? Alright, that's funny. Oh jeez. There's another towel over there. Huh? Oh, 
I'm sure this was a smart idea. What is this place? So strong, so rare. <sighs> Another Pokemaniac. You wanna see stronger Pokemon, don't you? Don't you? Please tell me I can just wipe the floor with this guy. Char Cadet. Oh wait, I just realized, I still haven't evolved my Char Cadet. I don't know how. Oh yeah, this guy's getting the floor mopped. And we're using his weird horn hair to do it. Michael. So strong, so wonderful. Shut up. Very low poly metatite. Ew. Metatite sweat? Future Kevin? I did that to say muscles, but not. That's what I tried to name it, but there was no room. Help, my hand throws Pokeball on its own. Do you think I'm stupid? I guess I picked the wrong opponent. Hmm. Yeah, okay, don't care. What is that? Oh, I can get up there. Right on. Huh. Huh. Oh! Oh, I, I could have made that. No. Huh. Oh, that's it. Where's where is it? Where is it? No, that's not it. That! I think I can make that. What is that? It's like the thing I found off camera that one time. There's an ominous black stake driven into the ground. You pull up the stake. Sure. When you pulled out the stake, it crumbled and vanished. What? What are those? I found one, but... One I found was glowing purple. Up, um. oh, so we're back to just finding hordes of Makuhita and Hariyama. I see we really have regressed through the game. Giraffarig! And where there's Giraffarig, there can only be one thing. Giraffarig. Did I completely miss where I'm going? Yes, I'm heading towards the uh, Quaking Earth Titan. I'm going to take a detour and turn around to where I'm actually trying to go. I'm so used to them hiding your signs. The freaking gimme ghouls. I've been conditioned. Although there's one here! Uh -huh. Oh. You just want me to fight four trainers. I can do that. Whoa, why did Karidon drift? I knew that wouldn't work. Yeah, do your job, you lazy. There, you happy I've beaten up your people for you. One focus sash. Yay. What is this area down here? Porto Marina da. Huh. You gotta wonder how many weird faces my character gets by running around on here. Is this a battle court? Is there a. There's not a gym here. Grelp. Jagalgi. I swear, I thought I saw the ship drifting away. Hmm.
Aha! Can't hide forever. Oh, jeez. Not expect a, a herd of kilowatt rail or a flock of kilowatt rail. I saw that like herd of tours, and I'm thinking back to when like what was it? When like those trainers had like those different types of tauros. There's like a water and a fire one. Oh, I caught one of those things off camera. I don't have time for you people's silly games. If you don't mind, I'm gonna heal. Alright, I'm taking my detour now. That's province area too. Another desert. As Asado Desert? What the? Who's calling me? Arvin? Oh, I went towards a titan. Hey, Jolly, apparently this desert is home to the Quaking Earth Titan. Speaking of which, the ground's been shaking uh, off and on, or making me feel a bit sick. Sorry, I'm gonna sit down and rest a little before I get back to Titan hunting. Oh no, I just realized something. It's ground type. You know what? Slam has done. I haven't even used Slam on Dumper. I'm gonna finally just, like, just Dumper take water bolts. <laughs> Now, at least something that can fight ground types. Do you have anything else that's worth, like, getting rid of? Like, water, ice, and grass is what we're looking for. Well, you're already gonna die. God, my team is going to get slaughtered. That's the Willor thing! That's the Willor thing I saw in, like, episode four! Get in the ball! Now, what's that? What's that? What is that? Capsa kid? Oh, this is the Skull Villain pre-evolution, I guess. I'm just gonna, you know what? Since I'm already here. Oh, I was going the wrong way. I might as well just go towards it. Also, there's Dawn fans here. Stone Journers. Can I even get up there? Oh yeah, I definitely can. I can just jump. I don't feel like dealing with you right now. Yeah. At least the gimme ghoul up here. Yeah. So the. Oh, I can definitely see where the Titan is. Oh boy. I wonder where it is. Oh my god, what is that? What is that? That's the Dawn fan thing that was in Arvin's book. Oh boy. I'm going to save. What can I do against this thing? What Pokemon can I send out? I think I have to just start off with Dumper. I'm being surrounded by Rufflets! It is, it is, it is, it is that weird Dawn fan! Saving just in case I get my butt handed to me. Um. Just grab this item. Where'd the item go? 
Um. Hello there, sir. Jeez. Dune Fawn! Do, 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 do. Hello, Jelly. This is Professor Sada. Great Tusk is a Pokemon that came from the Great Crater Paldea? What? I say you do whatever is needed to subdue it for me. All due caution, of course. Its name is Great Tusk. Well, it's not using a ground type move. Came from the great crater of Aldea? Alright, it's not using ground type moves, but that just makes me scared when it gets its Urban Mystica. Please. I have to land one more. It's confused though. Jeez, master the vanishing arts. I just did it. Oh, the boy's moving, I see. He's back here. Did that item just disappeared. Oh wait, no, never mind. He's right there. He's right by his Urra Mystica cave. Oh boy. Arvin? You might have to carry this one, buddy. Crap. Is that a person or a Pokemon over there? Kid, how are you not freaking out next to this thing? That kid is fr I'm- 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 In the mindset that this kid is frozen from terror. How are you not freaking out? All right, it's eating its Urban Mystica. Its name is literally Great Tusk. Wow. Jelly, looks like you find yourself a Titan. Wait, that's the Quaking Earth Titan? Uh, is that thing even a Pokemon? It must be trying to get pumped up with that little snack. Time to show the thing. Wait, time to show that thing what you and me can do, Jelly. Arvin, you're gonna probably have to carry. Oh god, another Super Saiyan Pokemon. I'm using a skill villain. Also, fire types of ground moves are gonna be neutral. Great. It's gonna use a skill villain I caught nearby to seize a real spicy victory. It's gonna burn! No, 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 no! Oh! Okay. What does that lower its speed? Oh no. Might I remind you, my whole team is weak to ground? Don't attack me, don't attack me. Yes! Time to do what caused Ortega so much Mental suffering. Putting up an X defense. Well, Arvin carries a little bit. Yeah, look how little that did now. And it was almost all healed up by leftovers. Yeah, and then... Is... Water absorb physical or special? Special. One special attack. X special attack, please. Why does it look like a Dawn fan, though? It even said Dune Food.
And I'm all the way healed back up. And now, I water pulse and we win. I probably didn't even need to put up the X items. I think I was just too scared. It was gonna stomp in tantrum again. Cause yeah, it's already dead. I probably just need to put up some X special attack and it would've been good. I was just too scared it was gonna attack me again with stomping tantrum. Feet of the Titan, great tusk. Jeez. Yes, nice going, little buddy. What even was that thing, though? I kind of feel like maybe I've seen it before somewhere. Boy, I can't wait to see another cave with the exact same layout. Yeah, I bet if we head inside here, we'll find more Urban Mystica I was eating. Let's get the place a once over before that thing decides to come back. I'm sure there's some here, too. Oh, that's crazy. Another cave with the exact same layout. Aha! I knew it. I spy Urban Mystica. Sour Urban Mystica. Another successful search. We're on a roll. Now let's see. What does the book have to say? Speaking of which, that book. I was looking at it on the title screen. Huh, on, maybe you'll see it. we'll see it again. Okay. Sour Urban Mystica is chock full of nutrients and is great for boosting your overall health. It says here that it works wonders whether you're tired or physically or mentally. Perks you right up. Yeah. It, it looked like on that book it had like an image of Coridon. This will definitely help Mazbo tip my boss stiff feel even better. Come on, Jelly, let's get some food going. Can I still give some to Coridon? Yeah, yeah, watch ya! Alright, Arvin, the sound effects, man. Sorry to keep you waiting. Here you go, another of your favorite old Arvin sandwiches. And with it comes another special Titan badge. Pokemon League might not recognize it, but I sure hope you appreciate it all the same. I'm just thinking how I was so scared about the fighting the Quaking Earth Titan. And then that was just very easy. Here he is. The big lizardy boy. Yes! I figured this might happen. Don't worry, I made extra this time for that brood of yours. Snip, snip. Take a bite, buddy. Yawns. Come on out, my boss stiff. I got some for you too, bud. Eat up. That's it, small bites, small bites. Take a bite. Chomp, chomp, snarf, chomp. Ugh, yes! Glide? Come on, at least bother to taste before you swallow right down, would you? Ugh, yeah! That brew seems to be befitting, benefiting from the herbs too, I guess, in its own sort of way. Oh, yeah. Before I forgot, Jelly, take another look at this. There's always a Titan Pokemon near Urban Mystica when we find them, right? Like the book says, it's not like big old Pokemon just happen to like these herbs. There's actually something that the herbs that's making the Titan so big and strong. Does that mean the Titan's lair is really just some kind of treasure hoard or whatever? It's just a pantry where the Titan keeps its food? You done with your sandwich, my boss, Stiff? Rough. R rough? You, you heard that, right, Jelly? My boss Stiff just woofed, right? Yeah. All right, I'm not imagining things. Rough. See, I knew I, I knew I wasn't just hearing things. Oh, my boss, Tiff, who's who's my best bud, huh? Who's the best of boys? Yes, you are. <sighs> it's been so long since I've heard that woof. My boss, Tiff, is definitely getting better. Ever since I teamed up with you, Jelly, things keep happening. 
Well, we still got two more herbs to go. Hope you'll stick out until we until we're done. Uh, yeah. Rough. Da -da -da -da. Hello, Sada. Hello, Jelly. This is Sada. This hack that Karada and Remedian more of its original power. After it has jumped into the air, you should try pressing the B button again and it should glide? What? Please continue to take good care of Karidon. Wow. If you're kind of bad at how scared I was about that and then it just was calm. Oh, then there's the open sky one. I thought the open sky one would give us the ability to fly or glide, whatever. All right, to the gym. I want to try this, even if it's just for a second. What? That is very cool. I'm just gonna head straight towards the gym town and ignore the trainers, just cause I wanna see how much I can actually get done in this episode. Cause we're already gonna be doing, we've already done one gym and a titan. That means we've done at least, we're gonna do at least three things this episode. Not sure that Wooper and Paldea are venomous. I saw, I have a blue Wooper I caught in another region. You wanna trade Paldea and Wooper to get it? I can get a Teltonian Wooper. Come on, I just wanna. I wanna fight. What is that weird movie did? I wanna fight the gym leader. I wanna see how much we can do in this episode. Volton Valooza, I'm late, I'm late. Oh, Kofu! Kofu, wait! Ah, oh, he got away. How am I supposed to return this to him now? Hey, are you here as a gym challenger, right? Yeah. I knew it, of course you are. That big man that just left is Kofu. Leader of the Kasafo of the Kaskarafa gym. He's a bit of a childlike side to him, but today he's run off to the market without his wallet. He'll be in big trouble without it. That's where you come in, kind gym challenger. Will you please take Kofu's wallet? Oh, you're too kind. I'd give you a gym badge right now if I could. Here's his wallet. I'm counting on you. Hmm. Porto Marina, duh. Oh. Thankfully, I went there. But also, can I just like keep his wallet? <laughs> Imagine. Jeez, that man covers ground quick. I already got to the other side of, a, of the desert in just a few like seconds. Wait, I, I can try this. Oh, it's so cool. Now I'm up here. Ultimate Loser, where, where in the world? Where in the world is my wallet? I won't, I won't be able to get today's hot item. I'll be bought. It'll be bought up by someone else. Don't worry, old man Kofu. I'll run and look for it right now. What do you want? Old man Kofu's in the middle of some super duper important ingredient buying. You're trying to interrupt him, then I, his best friend, will have to stop you. You have something important to say? Yeah, it's your wallet. Oh my god. Let me give the man his wallet! Launcher. I didn't mean to stay in. My finger nudged the controller. Oh, so you're only level 28. What the heck? Shucks, I let old man Kofu down. It's 
Dang it, that backfired. Now my wallet, now my wallet's empty too. Hey, step right up and tell me, what's all this ruckus about over here? Uh, old man Kofu, seems this kid got something to say to you. What's that now, a customer here for a little old walletless, moneyless me? What can I do for you? I have your wallet. Volt and Veluza, my wallet! So what now, my lobby staffer sent you here to bring it to me? <laughs> That's a huge help, thanks for coming all this way. Guess I should apologize for my little apprentice too. Hope he didn't bother you too much. There's something here at the Porto Marina de Auction that we really want to get our hands on. So as you can imagine, we're both a bit worked up to find my forgotten wallet. Ladies and gents, you won't want to miss this. Here comes today's last item. Hmm? You know the legendary Wakami Seaweed of the Hoenn region? Do I have any takers? Volton Valooza! What's with his, like, face and, like, his hair? It, I don't even have to touch it. I can see all this springy texture of the seaweed chock full of nutrients. Just look at it. Look how it catches the light and shines so brilliantly. Oh, and that rich, fresh aroma. Tim and Pluck straight out of the ocean. I need to get me some of that. Now, listen, kid. If you want to challenge me at the Casafara gym, you're going to need some smarts. And this is the perfect place to test you. Get the winning bid on the seaweed of this old man. Her, this old man. You see here at the auction, you gotta meet with other customers. You wear how much money you have, of course, because the person who bids the highest price gets whatever's on sale. Here you are, fighting fun for the auction. Be smart with it. Oh my god, money! It's literally, it's literally an auction. How one's legendary Wigamy seaweed. We'll start the bidding at ten thousand dollars. Bid fifteen. I hear a bid for fifteen thousand. Do I hear more? We're currently at fifteen thousand. And we have thirty thousand. We're at thirty thousand. Do I hear more? I hear more. Oh, that was... What? That was so easy. That was amazing. You put those grown-up bidders to shame with your bidding skills. Thank you for winning that seaweed for this old man. I'll be taking that... I'll be taking it now if you don't mind. You see, it is a great catch. It'll be feeling low at the, as the seabed. I'd be feeling low as a seabed if I failed to get my hands on it. There's... Any of that money left I gave you, feel free to keep it as a tip. You can even use it to try your hand at the auction again if you like. Alright, I'm back to the Cascarafa Kara gym now. Old man Kofu's gotta prepare real good for the battle, you hear? For ya. Nice! Jock? Hello, hello, Jelly! How's your treasure hunt? Figured out what you're hunting for yet? Honestly, no. Haha, <laughs> I get it. Director Clavel doesn't like questions with easy answers, does he? Many students chose to make the gym circuit a part of their treasure hunt. It's no easy feat, but even making the attempt is a worthwhile experience. That's why I was waiting here to make sure you know that your homeroom teacher's got your back. Lucky egg? This should be handy for your treasure hunt. Hope you'll keep working with that Pokedex of yours too, since I didn't since I did make the app and all. That's all for me. Just do your best and keep out of danger, okay? Jock, thank you. Jelly, I heard you reunited Kofu with his wallet. Thank you. Uh, this is a little like uh, a I... yes. Kofu, play with us, come on! I'll be honored if you try a new item from my restaurant menu as well. 
Sorry, everybody. I got some business to take care of as a gym leader real quick, like. I'm keeping someone waiting, you see? Please forgive me. I need to do this first. <clears throat> okay. Hey, yeah, step right up. I've been waiting for you. Thanks for that help over at Porto Marina, though. You did a mighty fine job. And now that I got some legendary seaweed, I can make some real quality dishes with it. But don't expect me to go easy on you in our battle here. At the auction, we battle by buying it. We battle with buying and selling. At my gym, we battle in a more traditional sense. Moves and tactics ever changing as a raging sea. I'm gonna serve you a full course of water type Pokemon. Don't try to eat them though. Alright. Gym leader Kofu. Veluza. I feel a bit indebted to you, but don't expect me to go easy on you just because of all that. Type is it? Water Psychic. Toxic Spice, and then I think I immediately need to get out of here. Oh, it has Mold Breaker. Alright, set up Toxic Spikes. Good, good. Now I switch into Underdeveloped. And what I do is I just Thunder Fang, because this guy is only level 30. I think I'm getting into the beginner area of the other path that I didn't take at the beginning of the game. Wook Trio. Tide up and blow time for a rating title surge. Sorry for the lack of commentary. I was eating a Tootsie Roll. Abominable! I wonder how quick this will be. Prepare for the prepare the rigging for the big transformation. My Pokemon's gonna rock the boat. Lively one, aren't you? A little too lively, if I do say so myself. <laughs> I'm lost, as refreshing as the air of the morning market. I'm just a little helpless, little magic up to you, huh? Flopping around all willy nilly. But you got me good, I tell you, what a great catch you are. Just like a master fisher, you held on tight to the last second and reeled in victory. Now it's time to hand over a gym badge to you. Let's get a real good photo together of us using the pose I've been waiting I've been wanting to try out for a while now. <laughs> That's funny. I like Kofu. He's he's a funny man. With six gym badges in your possession, Pokemon up to level 50 will be easier to catch and listen to you while you ask them to do things. Let me throw this to you as an extra special bonus. I'm sure you'll, you can make good use out of it. Chilling water? Use your attacks to talk about showering it with water that's so cold it stats the target's power and also lowers their target attack stats. Alrighty, it's about time. I headed back to my restaurant and got prepping for the next wave. Come back and see me again now, you hear? Oh, hello, Hassel. Greetings once more, Jelly. I was watching your battle with the gym leader from the sidelines, and I must say, 
I thought it was simply excellent. Full marks, gold star, extra credit even. Hardly had you sent out Claude Sire before you launched into your strategy. An unrelenting offense. That flurry of attacks went an efficient way to corner your opponent. What an artful trained Pokemon. Such a vibrant palette of moves. Ah. I do beg your pardon. I didn't mean to let my emotions run amok like that. <clears throat> In summary, I simply wanted to say that you seem to have gotten even stronger. I must admit, I'm eager for you to gather all the gym badges. As a member of the Elite Four, I await the day you can come face to face with me in great anticipation. Oh, but one thing. Don't let your studies fall by the wayside. Be sure to come to the Academy now and then. Cool. I mean, after that, I have plenty of time to go fight the... Uh, dark type guy over there. Giacomo. Sagan Squad. Since he only recently began training dark type Pokemon, he's not too much a challenge in battle. He used to be a straight laced star student, but certain events set him on a very different path. Yeah, well. Sorry. Uh. But you're my next target. Not gonna be that much of a difference. Live, I'm assuming. Jelly. Operation Starfall is going well. What did you say? Only two bosses left now. This whole experience has been eye-opening, to say the least. I'm glad I could take part. But I'm curious, Jelly. What do you think of Cassiopeia? Bag of riddles, really. Is that so? Personally, I don't think Cassiopeia feels any hate or resentment towards Team Star. No, there must be some other reason behind Operation Starfall. But if Cassiopeia was the big... I'm thinking, if Cassiopeia maybe is like resentful for their actions and wants to take down Team Star, why can't Ca Cassiopeia, as the big boss, just amount to Team Star's disbandment? Well, I'd best get back to keeping watch. Call for me if you decide to take on the base, okay? Yeah, it's time for a bonk sweep. At least let me get, like... I mean, yeah, these three are good. Oh, there's two guards. Whoa, whoa, hold it, you! Up ahead is the base of operation for Team Star's Dark Crew. Made no way that the second squad. Yep, we don't take too kindly to random kids sniffing around our turf. Sorry, but if you don't turn yourself around here, amigo, we're gonna have to send you packing. Wait, hold up. I just got a hunch here. Or are you that jelly kid? You know, that piece of work we're out to get for declaring war on Team Star? Maybe. Maybe I am, he says. Cool as a cucumber. Honestly, not only is the best policy, you know. Oh, uh, you... You know what? Doesn't matter who you are. You're not getting through. Buzz off or be thrashed by me in battle, kid. Ah, sassy kids like you are the worst. That's it. Prepare to get stomped into the dirt. Alright. If you use a single Pokemon with the dark typing, you're dead. Bonk? I have two words for you, Bonk. Go wild. Oh my god, they're only level 19. Hmm. This would definitely be like the first. Oh my god. This would definitely be like the first one you fight if you go on to this path. Why does such a sassy kid have to be so strong? This is definitely the path you. This is definitely like the first one you go if you took the other path. Ugh, how the heck did I lose? Well, whatever. It's your problem now. Finish up here for me, would you, bud? Okay, thanks. Hasta la vista, star. Uh, hasta la vista, star. She's new to the team, you know. Might have a little chat with her about her attitude. <sighs> Well, I'm gonna give, go into the base now and give the rest of the squad the heads up. I'm gonna come out you with full force. 
If you don't, if you set foot inside, so you might want to consider turning tail. Either way, best of luck to you, amigo. Hasta la vista, star. See, so took care of the guards. Nice work. Now, hold up in that base of Team Star's dark crew, the second squad. Their boss, Giacomo, pretty much runs the whole of Team Star. He's produced that wild soundtrack of theirs himself. He's a sharp guy. Even our declarations of war wouldn't have ruffled him in the slightest. His plans are probably to wear you down with a wave of grunts and finish you off himself. No use trying to outthink his strategic types like him. Bring him down with a head-on attack. Just keep on defeat. Just keep on defeating as many Pokemon as you can until the big man himself shows up. Ring the bell on the gates once you're ready to kick off this phase of the operation. Time to wipe the second squad off the map. Glad Lee. Let the match begin! Beep! Code red, code red, Operation Starfall alert. Everyone get into position to defend the boss with all you got. And rest assured, intruder, we'll deal with you without the boss's help. Unless you manage to defeat 30 of our Pokemon in 10 minutes, that is. Good luck with that. Question for you, second squad. Have you met Bonk? No? Let me introduce you. Easy. Next victims? Alright, ooh. More casualties. Ooh, there's more over here. How grateful of you. Attack! Have many of my Pokemon even taken damage? No. Why do I still have this Primeape on my party anyway? Oh. <laughs> he managed to get 31. He's way above our level. We gotta get the boss. I managed to get 31 Pokemon. Alright, sick mobile, dude. So he made this music. Team Star's Dark Crew. Giacomo. You've done a real number on us, party crasher. Jelly, was it? I'm Giacomo. At the deck, I go by DJ Vice. Call me whichever. It's a vibe either way. Nice to meet you and all, but how about we skip straight to your outro? Don't worry, I'll play a sick Requiem as you crash and burn. Let's get this party started! Oh, the theme! I respect you for making this theme. I respect you for making this theme. Bonk! You don't only think things through, do you? Declaring war on Team Star is a real bad move. Well, unfortunately, uh... Um... Oh, jeez, he only has two Pokemon? You fool. Fighting me was a bad idea. Oh, your star mobile already? Time to up the tempo. This show ain't over yet. Wicked torque. Oh no, you dealt the first bit of. What? I'm gonna. Ha, <laughs> how's that for an opening track? I'll spin you up pretty good, Party Crasher. <sighs> I was gonna say, aw, oh, you did the first bit of damage to me. You know what? I can't even be mad. I respect him for that. Although this thing is only level 20, so the moment I am able to land... Don't make me fall asleep again. Yeah, if I land this play rough, metal sound. All right, you doomed yourself. Special defense. Yeah. Oh, 
survived that one? Gonna wicked force. I swear if you put me to sleep. Alright. GG's. You fought well, but unfortunately, uh, I'm buff. Oh my god, his face. Guess that's that. One year and a half ago. Guess that's that. What's up, Giacomo? Did something happen? Big Boss just wanted to take some, uh, on some stuff, so we had to chat and settle on a few plans. A few plans? Like, for what? Operation Star. First of all, a new code of conduct for the team. You know how tons of new members have joined up recently? We figured we're gonna make up some team rules, like a code, so we'll be all be on the same page. Nice! You'll come up with a great code for us, won't you, Giacomo? Ha, <laughs> no thanks. Way too much pressure. I mean, yeah, I used to be president of the student council, but you know everyone ended up hating me after that, right? Of course we know. You forced a ton of stuffy rules on everyone and they wouldn't take it. We got some other nerd to replace you after like five minutes. I cannot help but concur. Male students' hair must stray no farther than 1.8 inches below the nape, and so forth. Your rules were vexation that made manifest. My point exactly, so you'll agree that I shouldn't be anywhere near this new code. But you always know what's best for the team, Giacomo. You know to look out for us. You've earned our trust many times over. Without you, Team Star just wouldn't work. That stuck-up student council prez isn't who you are anymore, man. A code written by Giacomo I'm looking at now, I'd follow that any day. As would I. Okay, okay, thanks for the ego boost, everyone. I'll do it. I'll write up the darn code. I did the best I could. I wrote that code myself, and there's no going back on it now. My days as the boss are over. So here, take my star badge, would ya? Man's chill. Giacomo's chill. Hmm. <laughs> So this is how the party ends. Let's talk about those Pokemon of yours. They're crazy strong, huh? You learned those trainers' chops at Academy? Like, what moves did you should use and stuff? Let's just say sure. Huh, okay, you like it at the Academy? Having fun? I mean, yeah, that's what this whole game is from. They, like, revolving around. Sorry to interrupt, but are you Giacomo? Oh, well, I wasn't expecting a giant pompadour to make a guest appearance today. You got a Quaxwell, you get a Quaxwell to style that up for you? I'm just, I'm just after a quick word, would you mind? Sure, I can tell this is going to be something annoying, but I guess I'm newly freed up for time. Thanks, I'll get straight to it. Seems all of you in Team Star are heading for the expulsion if you keep up your current activities. Why won't you break up the team and start attending classes at the Academy again? So that's what you want to know? As it happens, we're actually waiting on a pal. So we don't know when they'll be coming back. A pal, a close friend of yours, are they? They're the strongest boss in all of Team Star. Like how there's a top champion who's the absolute number one trainer, you know? They're the one who invited us other bosses to form the team. We call him the Big Boss. <clears throat> and where's this Big Boss of yours now? When would we like to know? We haven't heard from him in, I don't know, maybe a year and a half now. We thought that they keep Team Star going. And they'd be back in touch one day. But the teachers keep pressing us to call it quits, and we get party crashes like you two. Maybe the big boss did ditch us. They were talking about breaking up the team before and all. So Team Star and this big boss of yours, they're really that important to you? Heh, <laughs> is the sky blue? Let me put it into words you eggheads at the Academy might understand. They're my greatest treasure. Jelly, it's me. Take it that Giacomo handed over a star badge to you then? I see. This boss out of the picture, the second squad is pretty much done for. Even Giacomo. It has to be Cassiopeia, it only makes sense. I'm sorry, 
I'm almost there now. Just one boss left. The operation's been a huge success thanks to you, Jelly. And Clive has also performed admirably as your support. Remember him saying that you were acquaintances? We've known each other long? I mean, not really. Well, he's clearly a reliable friend. He almost reminded me of the gang back in the day. Just kidding. As you know, Team Star was formed by a group of students who were being bullied at school. Shortly after forming the TMD students, none other than the squad boss themselves confronted their bullies head on. The outcome was a resounding victory for Team Star, though you can hardly call it a contest. The bullies didn't even put up a fight. They all bolted from battle the first chance they got. Scared spitless out of Team Star, the bullies then dropped out of school one after another, and Team Star ended up the villains of that story. But that's neither here or there. Forget I mentioned it. Now about your reward. I'll transfer some LP to your phone as promised. Make good use of those TMs. They should help you take down the last remaining boss. My supply unit rep will be along soon to give you your bonus reward. Hello there once again, Penny. Um, here I am. Already. Ah, uh, stay in your Pokeball for once, will you? Ah! <sighs> wow, Team Star went through all that, huh? They just wanted the bullies to go away, but then they became the bad guys in everyone's eyes. What a joke. The students, the teachers, they're all so messed up. Even if just one of them had been paying attention to when everyone was getting bullied, they might have been able to tell right away that Team Star was the one in the wrong. And I guess the big boss was the one who urged everyone to face the bullies, despite knowing how messed up the academy is. What a massive idiot, creating Team Star and just hoping your plan would miraculously work out. You think so? I'm sure of it. Here's a reward. The next boss is the very last one. We're counting on you, Jelly. Huh. Well, I'm gonna try and figure out what I'm doing, what I'm gonna do next time. No, you know what? You know what I'm gonna do next part? If I can just get up on the mountains here, I might just be able to glide down to the false dragon titan. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. And then also maybe I can possibly do open sky. And... Maybe I'll, I'll, I'll go all the way back and fight the last Team Star boss. Oh, come on. Don't make me end the episode like this. <sighs> Whatever. I'm done now. Uh, I guess see you next time I do this. Uh, bye.